good evening to all so myself dr nagaraju and welcome to harsha training before going to the session first to remember these four points very very important point the first one is uh, my voice is audible or not i already got the message my voice is audible okay the main thing is in case if you have any doubts at this session so immediately you can unmute yourself and ask the doubts no need to wait until end of the session for example right now you have a doubt simply unmute yourself and ask the doubts no need to wait until end of a session if it is a general doubt wait for end of the session if it is a doubt related to subject then you will ask directly or if anybody unable to unmute ping the message in the chat box you can do any of this now very very important point is uh, so everyone have some situations power failure or some network issues you will stay on the line i will rejoin within 5 minutes through another network don't leave the session you will stay on the same line i will rejoin within 5 minutes and one important message is uh, after completion or before the completion of the class the participants who joined the session ping some message joined to this number so why i am giving this number means for every contact every information whether it is a material or payment of fees or anything you contact this phone number so the first thing is save this phone number regarding any information move to this number unable to hear anything yes anyone please respond can you hear my voice yes sir yes we do yes yes sir yes so one person is unable to hear yes, please see this message and if it is not visible check your settings check your settings okay i will go through the topics first so somebody asked the question sir whether it is a basics of python here before that one i will explain the content that is throughout our sessions what we are going to discuss once you understand the content then we will continue the topic so first one is very very basic so the basics any programming languages the first thing is the basics what is the basic terms the basics in the sense what are identifier what are identifier what are variables what are data types operators comments everything i provided in the syllabus but again for your reference i will explain one next again all these things and how to install installation of python software here we will try three softwares that is the first one is python the basic ide second one is pycharm pycharm third one is jupyter so we will try to practice on these three ide pycharm and jupyter okay first i am moving with ide once you are getting a good idea on python then we are moving to remaining two so not all this whatever the things that are required we will discuss all the basic topics all the basic topics after completion of this basics that means simply we learn the alphabets a b c d like once you learn the alphabets then my topic is i am moving into decision making statements so moving into decision making statements after decision making statements your voice is breaking up but most of the students said that my voice is clear please check yourself after decision making statements the next two one is iterative statement after that jumping statement so once the basic topics are covered next i am moving into this one under decision we have if if else nested if else if ladder 
coming to iterate to for loop and while loop infinite while loop infinite for loop all different categories and coming to jumping break continue and python have an additional pass we will discuss all these things okay now one step is completed after that we will discuss a very very important things those are string list tuple dictionary set these are my topics these are called either data types or data structures or collection you can call with any name we will discuss these things in depth in depth in the sense for example coming to string for example coming to string what is a string how to create a string how do we create a string what are different methods that are available in the string different methods what are the different operations that are performed on the string everything whatever present in the string not only string list to tuple dictionary set we will cover all these things remember after this the very very important one functions we will cover functions so functions in the sense what is a function what are different types of functions so everyone know the basic function and recursive function we will also discuss anonymous function lambda function map filter reduce three additional functions so we will discuss the concept of functions and the most important thing is along with the functions we discuss the different types of arguments that are passed to the function that means positional argument default argument keyword argument variable length argument kw arguments we will discuss different types of arguments different types of functions so we will complete the concept of functions by this one topic is completed one topic in the sense you are in a position to write any python program any python program that means by learning all these topics you crack any interview 100% you can write any python program now along with generally these are the basics generally these are the basics but not only this one we will cover object oriented programming concepts you know object oriented programming so under this object oriented we will cover all the concepts so class object inheritance polymorphism encapsulation and finally abstraction finally abstraction we will cover all these concepts all the concepts of object oriented programming so remember not the definition and give the answer suppose you are coming to the concept of class automatically we discuss the constructor concept everything we will discuss along with exception handling along with exception handling okay so after completion of exception handling we discuss modules we discuss the topic of modules so what is a module each and everything whenever we are going to the topic we will discuss so discuss different modules so math module os module statistics module random module re module etc we will discuss this type of modules that means what is a module what are the different functions available in the module how to use those functions to our programming after this module and we are moving to some advanced topic that is network programming i think you got it here we are not teaching not only basics of python we are moving into network programming generally that is called socket programming that means here we are creating a server application a client application we are providing the communication between server and client that concept is also implemented network programming and the concept of multi threading the concept of multi threading 
and the concept of files that is what are the different types of files how do we operations how to read how to write all the operations so everything files along with we also covered database connections consider any one database so for example it is not possible to discuss all for example i will discuss mysql procedure is completely same whether you are using sql mysql mongodb sqlite whatever the database the procedure is completely same only the syntax in mysql is different now i am moving to how to create a mysql that is the database information how do we connect your python program to database this is also covered that means observe carefully almost basics and some of the advanced topics are also covered not the the basics in the sense generally up to this one up to this one this is called basics once we are moving to object oriented i am moving into exception handling i discussed the module network programming multi threading and database connection okay so i got one question after completion of this course after completion of this course can we write python script to automate the infrastructure service definitely 100% so you can write your automotive programs once you understand the concept of networking multi threading databases why because these suppose consider database this concept requires you need to install a database how to in load the information into the database retrieve the information from the database we have some commands ddl dml dcl tcl we will discuss all those commands this is my content now anybody have any doubts regarding content no problem once i give the entire syllabus copy to you please save the number if you have any doubt ping the message to the number we will again share the content to you all the content is covered by the end of the complete sessions okay now now and here some important point are just every day after completion of the session we will provide the document also suppose today i am completing some x topic so topic x is completed so by the end of the session or most probably the session is completed we will share the content day to day content is delivered along with you already know recording access but you are not enabled to edit but you can view the recordings you can view the recordings until the end of the course until the end of the course okay clear any doubts on this one any doubts on this basic information now okay clear no problem now i am moving into some introduction coming to python coming to python so everyone why you are choosing python obviously the first two question is you have c language c++ java python dotnet cs many programming languages are available so my first two topic is why python this is my question one simple answer one simple one word answer is we can use python in any application a to z specifies you can use python in any application now again you have a question sir java is also possible to use even c is also possible to use but why python remember in python a large set of large set of modules are available what is this mean by this module for example if you want to do some operation your aim is if you want to perform some operation then you need to write some logic for example for example simply i given these numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now my program is to perform addition of these numbers a very simple program 
addition of these numbers in c c++ java generally how do we write the program first we are performing addition of these two for that result so 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 plus 5 15 21 28 by step by step we have need to perform addition that means you need to write a loop within the loop you are performing the addition repeatedly that means you need to write the logic suppose coming to python we have a function sum of by using just to sum of automatically it performs the addition and give the result now understand now why python compared to remaining languages the syntax is very easy for that i will explain one example program i have many regions i have many regions my first two region is python is a simple language first reason python is simple language how consider an example program my program is to print some message just to, to print some message write the program in c language first to write the program in c language so even though you don't know the remaining even though you are belongs to non it branch no problem i will start the python from scratch python is the beginner language hash include already written stdio.h main within this main we are writing the statement printf hello world printf hello world close the main this is my program to print a simple message hello world i need to write this content now suppose same program that is to print hello world in java in java everything must change should be written inside a class so for printing a single line i need to create a class within that class you have to write the main method public static void main string args of is it easy difficult 100 percent it is very difficult to remember that much of statement now again for printing again you are using like this system dot out dot print ln hello world close this main method close the class this is the program in java now finally I am writing my program in Python simply print hello world. Program is completed. Print hello world. My program is completed. Now observe which one is easy. So just to you remember only the print statement, it is very easy to print the answer. But here, you need to remember this information in java it is very difficult compared to python you need to create class main and for printing also this much now my first point is clear why we are preferring python python is the simple programming language now what is my main important point so python consists of a large set of modules that means maximum are already defined already defined now simply you can use already an item is prepared ready to eat item simple example ready to eat item already items are prepared simply you bring the item and use that one that is python okay not only that region i have many number of regions my next region is C language is procedure oriented. C is a procedure oriented language. That means everything is treated as a function. Also called as structured programming language. Java is an object oriented language. Object oriented language. Now, generally, those two are equal, same or different, 
procedure oriented is different to object oriented procedure oriented has some advantages object oriented has some advantages now the important thing is python supports both the procedure oriented and object oriented now which one is better obviously in a content also i discussed object oriented programming specially that means the best features of c language are supported written in python the best features of java that is object oriented are available in python that means compared to c and java python supports lot of information that is my one more point okay lot of modules many number of modules easy to write and then suppose both procedure oriented and object oriented and and applications it supports different types of applications a to z you can consider anything any anything python is used for example what is the booming right now right now the booming industry is visual learning artificial intelligence deep learning data science yes or no right now visual learning artificial intelligence deep learning data science plays very very crucial role remember if you don't know the concept of python it is not possible to move to this one these visual learning artificial intelligence all these things are implemented by using python are implemented by using python now everyone have a doubt even java is also used to implement machine learning but it is very 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 difficult why i am saying only this one means actually i completed my phd i had completed my phd in machine learning in machine learning i think everyone of phd means some projects that is some task some research have to be done i completed my phd in machine learning for this i use this python language i use this python language suppose you are using java language compulsory the difficulty level increases why because java has a large complicated code but python everything is predefined simply if you want any algorithm you can write a single statement only single statement is sufficient now what is the another industry iot internet of things internet of things also uses python python supports internet of things not only this one i will give you one clear idea so desktop application web application enterprise application now these cover all the things desktop application means any application that is installed in your system an application that is installed in your system for example vlc media player installed in your system yes or no that is developed by using python or for example uh, in my system contains of any application mx media player or some softwares we have some types of software editing softwares etc etc everything that is installed in a system that is developed by using python web applications actually java also supports remember i am not saying python is the best language java is the best language no both have their equal priorities python is the best language okay in terms of simplicity in terms of predefined modules java also very very good programming language okay java also supports all these applications whenever i given demo on java again i am saying exactly reverse so java supports desktop application java supports web application java supports enterprise application but the difference is in python it is easy to write the program easy to write the program next to audio application video application gaming application networking for anything predefined modules are available simply you can use predefined is available what is your thing you need to know what are the modules available how to use the module only one thing this is the reason i am selecting python
I am selecting Python. Now, generally, uh, everyone knows Java from long back times. Even movies also Java books are available, no Python books. So, our assumption is Java is the oldest language. Yes or no? We remember that is not correct. Actually, Java is developed in the year 1995. Java is developed in the year 1995. Python is the oldest language developed in the year 1991. But why Python does not come into existence in the sense whenever the concept of machine learning comes into picture, then Python plays a crucial role. Python plays a crucial role. That is approximately last to seven to eight years, Python becomes a popular language. To be frankly speaking, last to five years, it is becomes a very, very popular language. The percentage of Python usage is increased compared to Java. But Java has their equal priority. Java has their equal priority. Okay. My first two point is completed. My first two point is why you have to choose Python. Okay. Now, coming to step by step, software development life cycle, software development life cycle. Here I am not entered with Python. Today I am not going to enter in Python. Why? Because if you want to learn any programming language, you need to learn some prerequisites. Then only it is possible to go software development life cycle, SDLC. If anyone working in the industry, they know the term software development life cycle. What is the meaning of this one? For example, I am a customer. Suppose you are an organization. Now I need a project. For example, my project is some movie tickets booking. My project is like book my show. Whatever it is like book my show, I need a project. Now understand carefully. First customer entered organization and communicate with the person and given all his requirements. Sir, I need this project. In my shopping mall, I have five theaters. Daily, I have five shows. General example, these are the different types of series that are available. Whatever the information required, he provides all these information. Once all this information is gathered by this company, now what the company do? Analyze the information. Yes or no? Analyze clearly. Understand the information. Okay. This is the requirement. So generally, my first two step is completed. Everyone must and should remember this one. Requirements gathering. Once I gather all the requirements, I am planning. Yes or no? Planning. So based on the requirements, assume your project requires some $1 million, for example, and the project is completed in six months of time. The project needs 100 team, a team of 100 developers. So whatever the information, they planned that one. Now, very, very important. Generally, this is analysis. Yes or no? We are analyzing all the information. After analyzing the information, what we are doing? Designing. Yes or no? An architecture. Based on the architecture only, we start to develop the project. Yes or no? For example, you are constructing a house. Directly, we are not constructing the house. First, you are creating a blueprint. Based on the blueprint only, you are constructing. Again, the blueprint is not created directly. How the blueprint is created? First, so total this square feet. Within this square feet, this is the living room. This is the study room. This is a bedroom. Like this, they are dividing. Now, the thing is, once the architecture is designed, now understand, this is my point. These two are not required. This is my point. The design is moved to implementation. Right now, you are generally using the term coding, coding, coding. What is mean by coding? Whatever the analysis and design that is need to be converted into some Execution 
for some executing program coding generally programming now my first term occurs what is my first term programming converting my analysis and decision whatever the knowledge i learn theoretically that is to be converted into a program for that conversion i need a thing that is called programming so here i am speaking some sentences in english now you are understanding so what is the medium the language exactly here that is called programming language programming language now what the software industry do after analysis and architecture is completed their aim is to write a code for that they select the programming language right now whether it is a c c plus plus java python you got it so programming language means simply the language that is used for converting the analysis and design into code now what is a program after that we have different phases after that what are the phases testing is a phase deployment is a phase so testing means my project is completed that means my code is completed check whether the code is right or wrong if any mistakes that is any errors are there we are rectifying those errors and clear all those errors after that the project is completed give the project to the customer and then provide some maintenance suppose up to 6 months i provide free maintenance all those things all those things that is deployment that is deployment clear this is the sdlc software development life cycle whenever you want to go to software industry compulsory you need to let this term whenever they ask the question what is sdlc these are the phases requirements planning implementation design implementation testing deployment now so what is the word just to will and programming language now what is a program step by step level by level we are moving what is mean by a program program means simply set of instructions to do a task for example for example assume i opened this pen here pen is selected so i selected the pen here i am i can write the pro write any information that is a program that is a program okay suppose eraser is selected i can use eraser that is a program so for erasing they are writing some set of instructions now the main important term why you are learning the programming language to develop a software yes or no our final aim is you need to develop a software final point what is a software again the question what is a software software is simply a collection of programs software is a collection of programs to perform some action suppose here paint is a software this software consists of writing pen one program eraser one program suppose zoom one program highlighter one program colors one program so collection of different programs clubbed together that is called a software that is called software okay now any industry divide the software into two types one is system software second one is application software after completion i am moving to the programming language first understand this one system software and application software what is the meaning of this one system software that means we are designing a software that is used to run the system system in the sense my mission mission in the sense my computer how the computer is run anyone give any one one example of system software unix unix s yes. 
विंडो सिंपली एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम without operating system it is not possible to run even not possible to open and execute single command so operating system is the system software now application software what is mean by application software the software that is designed for specific purpose the software that is designed for specific purpose suppose paint is the software which is used only for painting purpose ms word is the software for documentation purpose excel is the software ppt is the software vlc media player is the software book my show is the software any software that is designed for a specific purpose that is called application software now again move back to system software now what the system software system software is a software that is used to run the application software sro suppose vlc media player is present in my system without os is it possible to run vlc no that means system softwares are used to run the application software okay now up to now this is clear clear so what we discussed to know the course content and one important point is software development life cycle and the basic points what is a software what is a program what are the different types of softwares now here i use one term convert that design into coding that is a program we read a programming language what are the programming languages that have available everyone give the answer generally programming languages everyone give the answer generally what are this c is a programming language c plus plus java python right but that is not the original classification we programming language means the languages that are used to write a program yes or no what is mean by english language the language that is used for communication simply programming language means the language the language that is used for writing a program that is used for converting your design into a program now we have three types of programming languages remember mission level language assembly language and high level language high level language these are the programming languages now what you said c c plus plus java python all comes under high level languages okay now within 10 minutes i will explain this concept and today tomorrow and day after tomorrow for these three days i will close the session at 650 only close the session at 650 okay from monday onwards the slot is from 6 to 7 sharp okay only for three days before 10 minutes i will close the session only for three days now coming to mission language mission level language simply mission means computer the language that is understandable by the mission now you are getting the point i am going in one order so what is my order content after that sglc after that we are converting we need a programming language so convert into a program so i discussed the concept of program software then i am moving to programming language whenever we are coming to this one here we have python coming from now python begins that means tomorrow session we'll start the complete python but this is a very 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 important any person must and should know this one must and should know this one mission level language the language that is understandable by the mission that is understandable by the mission is called mission level language so exactly i got the answer the mission understands 
binary the mission level language is also called as binary language those are zeros and ones again i am repeating at any point of time if you have any doubt unmute yourself ask the doubts or else ping message in the chat box i am repeating multiple lot number of times the language that is understandable by the mission is called mission level language everyone know this one now the important point is i am writing a simple program addition of two numbers this is my program i already said programming language you need to write a program so computer does not understand three computer does not understand plus computer does not understand four why computer understands only zeros and ones now you need to convert three into binary one one four into binary one zero zero plus is also converted into binary this is plus assume this is plus now you need to write this one then only the computer understand in the olden days we are using the concept of punch cards you know the punch cards suppose if you punch that is considered as a one if you know punch that is considered as a zero so by using this one now anyone see this one what is that one no one cannot understand no one so that is the disadvantage what is the disadvantage the disadvantage is it is very difficult for the programmer to remember all this binary code to remember this binary code it is very very difficult for the programmer here one more disadvantage is there another disadvantage is suppose okay i by heart assume i by heart all these instructions for example this is under mission one in mission two if i am i want to execute the same i am writing the same it may get another result why even though we are writing remember this one this is for mission one for mission two the value may be changed that means again the instructions are changed from mission to mission you got my point mission to mission now i got one message sir this python totally tell course only code this python yeah. yeah this python totally tell course only core this python so in the starting point i discussed that the along with core python we will cover some advanced topics like network programming exception handling multi threading okay now where you have so again from mission to mission mission to mission you need to remember you need to remember that is the disadvantage to overcome that problem i am moving into assembly level language so what is the disadvantage remembering all these binary code it is difficult assembly language they are using mnemonics what is mean by mnemonic instruction suppose add 2 comma 3 compared to this one this is easy or not compared to this one this is something better add 2 comma 3 means simply performs addition between two numbers perform addition between two numbers but again it has a problem what is the problem two problems first i will explain only one problem remembering all these instructions why we have a large set of instructions add subtraction multiplication division generally these are basic terms but loading storing registers we have very very large set of instructions again it is very very difficult for the user compared to mission it is somewhat better okay compared to mission it is somewhat better but we are daily updating as yes now in the old in days some old tv is available we are upgraded to led we are updated to full hd we are updated to ultra hd exactly so compared to mission learning assembly is better but it is also difficult finally i am moving into high level language what is mean by high level language 
simply it uses our natural language like english for writing the program now compared to previous to everyone knows the english language so it is easy to write the program it is easy to write the program okay my here i discuss two points what is my first point what are the three languages mission level language supports zeros and ones assembly language supports mnemonics high level language in the form of natural language now very very important question is here i am writing a program in high level language i am writing a program in high level language and i am writing a program in mission level language which one executed fast my question is observe my program is high level language suppose the same program is written in mission level language how much time the high level language takes how much time the mission level language takes which one executes fast anyone give response which one mission level why but mission level we are not unable to understand mission level exactly exactly i got different answers but the answer is perfect mission level language why remember computer you need to execute the programs in mission yes or no you need to execute your programs in mission when the mission is executed if the program is in the mission language then only mission understand that means even though you are writing your program in high level language you need to convert in mission level language you need to convert in mission level language that means mission if you are writing program in mission computer directly understand no need of any conversion so it is executed fast compared to high level yes or no why if you are writing this one we need some time for translation again if you are writing your program in assembly language again we need some translator for converting assembly language into mission level language final your aim is conversion into mission level language final your aim is conversion into mission level language clear now the last two point here i am using the word what is the word translator translator what is translator converting one language into another language now to convert assembly language into mission level language the name of the translator is assembler so not at all important our important thing is this one why we are not using this one so yes, high level language is converted into mission level language by using translators we are using two types of translators one is compiler and the second one is interpreter so one is compiler and the second one is interpreter you can use any one either compiler or interpreter both task is converting high level language into mission level language some simple point the most frequently asked question what is the difference between compiler and the interpreter by explaining this i will close the session what is the difference both have same purpose converting high level language into mission level language the difference is assume i written a program that consists of 10 lines 10 lines in high level the compiler at a time converts all the 10 lines into mission language all the 10 lines into mission level language but coming to interpreter instead of converting 10 lines first it converts the first line if there is no error then converts the second line no error then converts the third line one simple example here i am given a speech in english language you are the mission you are unable to understand english suppose you understand only telugu language then 
a translator is required assume my speech consists of total 10 sentences what are the two ways of translation after completion of my entire 10 lines of speech the one person convert my entire speech into your required language that is one way what is the second way of translation first i completed my first line the translator converts into your required language second i explain my second line the translator convert now you observe the difference at a time conversion line by line conversion that is the thing that is compiler and interpreter okay compiler and interpreter okay now now finally today i will close the session i said so for these three days only the session ends at 6 50. if you have any doubts related to the course content anything and if you want to pay the fee contact this number contact this number okay so any doubts please ask me so i will share the recorded video also share the recorded video also in the starting session i will discuss the contents so if anyone missed the starting of this session you can listen that recording video okay that's all for today thank you very much we will meet hello. on the tomorrow thank you very hello. much hello. Ah, hello 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 uh, yes. actually oh, I I go... your uh, actually i go through one of your uh, demo session uh, there you mentioned that you provided uh, some assignment uh, did, uh, daily and uh, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, for this also you provide assignments okay which you need to complete the same day 100 percent. for this also okay. daily i will provide the assignments you have to practice the assignments if you have any doubt i will give the solutions that is uh, in the next session i will explain the assignments also okay so one question how many months it takes to learn python up to cracking interview so our sessions hardly two months within two months but approximately after completion of 25 to one month you are in a position to crack any interview that means you will write the programs before entering into the object oriented program only you are in a position to write any program not a problem hardly it takes one month for cracking the interview but the completion of two months means you are getting the full details and then you will are in a position to develop the projects also clear any address so the scripting python scripting and um, web application both are different thing or it's uh, we can uh, write the both thing after of this no 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 in this we are writing only the scripting web application means so that is web framework means that is some advanced topic that comes under design python design this course okay. does not cover the design